Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another Texas Chainsaw Master video. This one is about the achievements. They have been shown. So now I am going to read them to you. If you don't want to hear me read them and you just want to look at them yourself, I will put the link in the description so you can check it out. So without further ado, the first one is called Purge. Use the pain is not an ability. Purge X amount of poison effects. Total Texas. Reach player level X, which I assume probably will be 50 based on the points. That's just through and through, reach level 50, I guess, with all characters 100. Perk up. Start a match with a full leveled up ability and three level three perks equipped. So that's for the victim. Welcome to the family, execute your first victim. Pretty much if you play the family, you're going to get that. As, uh, serial killer, execute X amount of victims in total. That's probably going to be like a thousand, probably, because 50 points. Mine on mine, execute all four victims in a single match. That can be difficulty depending on the other players. You could also probably do it in private. It was the greatest ever. Feed Grandpa probably a thousand times in total because it doesn't take long to do that. First blood, execute your first victim in the match. Pretty much play family, you doesn't do that. Get out of there, drag out X amount of victims from inside hiding objects. Hopefully that number is not too high because it doesn't happen too often. So close, kill a victim while at the meters of exit in the level. So I don't think that's going to be too hard. As long as it actually doesn't have to be open, it just has to be close to exit. I guess we'll see. I have to do some testing on that. That's victim standing. At the last victim standing, survive for X amount of minutes and escape in the same match. Now, look, my question with that is do you just have to be the last person standing and escape, or do you have to wait like one, five minutes? To get out and then escape. Yes, we'll see. That's 50 points, so it's probably like five minutes. Um, the lucky one. 800 times. Not too hard. As a victim, escape a level without making a noise. This shouldn't be too hard. You could do it probably two ways. Uh, you could probably have someone else do the fuse box and you just hang around the basement, try not to get make noise and not get attacked. Um, and then the other option is to wait for someone to open the door, go up, do the fuse, try to avoid making noise. The reason you can't do the door is the door because you that'll make noise. And then escape that way. Use it to be your easy asset, unless you can figure out some other way to get it. There's probably other ways you get it, but that's probably the easiest. Bring it on. When S oh, close encounter is at the victim in total. Get back here when S amount of close encounters as a family member in total. Fight back, successfully perform S sneak attacks against family members in total. Not too hard. Um, team player heal S amount of teammates in total. That shouldn't be too hard because you can heal people that not does any healing. Now it's my turn. Sneak attack all family members in a single match. That could be difficult. You would have to actually aim for that. You're probably going to die, but it'll happen. Be like Sally. So step down the driveway as they're jumping out the family house for a window. Not too hard. Ha seen this happen many, many times. Pretty much you just have to have someone turn on, not turn on the generator or have someone turn off the generator and then jump out the window. Make sure you have enough health and run down it. Yep. Pretty simple. Full focus. Use the force ability to instantly unlock doors in total. Uh, safe to here, add extra lots to number of doors in total. So that's the hook. I hear you, especially spy X amount of victims in total. Another truck uh, achievement. I got one. Catch a total X amount of victims in traps. Not too hard. That is the hitchhiker. I'll come for you as hitchhiker. Use one middle bolt hole and ladder in a single match. There's not too many ladders, so you would have to actually aim for this one. Not too hard. You might be doing without faking. Uh, can't hide from me. Analyze X amount of victims' footprints in total. That's a Johnny perk, so we have to use Johnny. That uh, can't keep me out. So socially, barge open a total X amount of latched doors. Hopefully, the number is not too high because not too many people latch doors. It takes a little bit. Undetectable. Use the ultimate escape ability to reduce damage X amount of time. Pretty much just turn it on when you're. Have someone chase you and you'll get some hits. Uh, dog will hunt as Letterface destroy X amount of objects with the chainsaw. Pretty much, you'll get this without trying as long as you play family. Hunt out, hunt up, 
on you. Execute X amount of victims in total of Gallows as Letterface. Hopefully, it's not too high. I'm probably going to say like 25, probably be a good number because it doesn't happen at all that much. Like, you got to try to aim for that and pick them up. Our hero, shoulder barge and stun X amount of family members. You got to use Leland to do that. So, touch, poison X victims, pickups, tools, shards, and health items. That's a sissy perk. So, she can poison all that stuff. Definitely want to use some of the tools and maybe health items. Health items would be crazy to do. Powder burn. Use two or more victims simultaneously. So that's another sissy perk. She blows dust out and you have to hit two people with it. And pretty much it makes them look like they're dancing or really confused. All knowing. Track all family members in a single match. So I believe that's a sunny perk. You can track all of them by like seeing them all and the making sound. You spent the championship wrong. You spelt, spelt the championship as a family member, kill a victim in under 30 seconds from the start of the match. That might you have to do that as Letterface because they're not getting into the basement that fast unless they're rushed. Made Grandpa proud. Achieve a perfect family win, killing all victims on each map. Not too hard. You pretty much. Gotta have a good team. Escape artists achieve a perfect victim win. All victims escape on each. Not too hard. Seen it done. Leave home. Escape each asset on the family house level. That's not too hard. You just gotta aim for different ones. Escape use uh out of, out of gas. Uh, out of gas. Escape using at each asset on the gas station. Off to the market. Escape using each asset on the slaughterhouse map. Pretty much just take time to do that. All is family. Reach family bond to maximum. We keep it there for the whole match. I don't know how you do that. Well, I guess we'll figure out how you do that. Just working together. It's sir. During a single match, stop the generator, hits the fuse box, and open the pressure valve. So you're going to have to have your teammates really distract people. Pretty much, you're going to have to stop the generator, go outside, stop the generator, go to the fuse box. Like, I don't know if someone else does it. If you hit it, will that count? And open the pressure valve. As long as some, if someone else puts it there, you can open it. You just gotta wait for it to close. Nowhere left to hide as the victim hide in the freezer, locked wardrobe, trunk, and car trunk. Doesn't say all in one match, so it'll happen probably over time. Doing well. Jump down a well. That's amount of times in total. Rep. 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 Rep it. Rep a character's lottery at the reach of massive level. I don't know what that means, but all right. Jumping, running, jumping, climbing tree. That first points to in the lottery. That's that'll happen over time. Behind the turn, get your first allotable. Executioner. Use all family execution in a public match. Not too hard, you get that over time. Friend softly. Avoid being tested by grandpa for a whole match. Not too hard. Uh, you just gotta stop. And not walk by him. What will be left of you? Play 1970, 1973 public matches. That's the year. You got to play 1,973 matches in total. That's a lot of matches. And that's the achievement, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like. If I mispronounced anything or read anything wrong, I apologize. I try to read it the best I can. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.